All right. So what I would do is write down the problem again, because hopefully you guys already have it written down in long division form, so you can practice and make sure you understand what to do for there. OK. So to do synthetic division, since we have our factor is linear, or our divisor is linear, what we're going to do is we're going to find the 0 of our divisor. Okay? And this is why you can't do this when it's greater than 0. Because remember, to find the zeros from the factors, you just set your factor equal to 0. zero right? So if here's my factor, I just set my factor or my divisor equal to 0, and I solve. Do you guys agree with me? If I had x, what was that other one? x squared, right? If I have x squared, how many solutions does I have? Two, Two right? When doing synthetic division, we can only do it with one solution. So that's why it has to be linear. So you take your 0, which in this case is negative 3. Okay? Then what you do is you kind of create this little L box. Then up top, what you're going to do is take the coefficients. Now, it's really, again, important that you not only have your polynomials in standard form, but if you're missing a term, you have to include 0. So if you're missing a term, you have to put a 0 there. So my first coefficient is 3, 17, 20 uno, negative nuevo. I don't know why I'm recording this. I recorded this last class period, but whatever. OK, so what we're going to do again, the way that we do this, everybody see these coefficients? There's that? OK, first one is a freebie. You bring it down. That was easy, right? Everybody can do that one, right? You just bring down the first number. Every single problem. First one's a freebie. Now you have to pay after that. You just get a. What's the one thing I asked today? One thing I asked. Not the day to be doing that. So bring down the three. Now what you're going to do is multiply on the diagonal. What is three times negative three? Negative nine. Negative nine. Now we add on the vertical. What is 17 plus negative 9? Positive 8. Multiply on the diagonal. 8 times negative 3 is negative 24. 21 plus negative 21 plus negative 24? Negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 3? Positive 9. Negative 9 plus positive 9? Zero. So these are numbers. How do we write them as our answer? Because we know the answer is 3x cubed, 3x squared plus 8x minus 3. So then how do we write whatever our answer is? Well, hopefully if you guys compare these two answers, you see that these are the coefficients, right? So this is your remainder. This is your coefficient to your constant, or your x to the 0. This is your coefficient of your linear, and this is the coefficient of your quadratic. So therefore, the answer is 3x squared plus 8x minus 3. Wait, the first one will always be the yep. First. Yep. 